Good afternoon, this is Amory from Olympus France. I work here as a NDT product specialist and in this video today I will present you the Flexoform scanner using the Omniscan X-ray. So I'm here with a new file, so I will go straight to uh, the scan plan. My part here that I want to inspect is in steel. Uh, the thickness of this part is around nine millimeters. Um, I will now select the flexoform probe, which is a FA1, um, 7.5 megahertz, uh, 64 elements. I will now select the wedge for the flexoform, which is this one, SFA1 flexo, and I press select. Um, now I'm going to the group configuration, um, and I will select the type of low zero degree with overlap. Like this, I will be able to do some raster scanning. And I will change the quantity here to six. Quantity of elements uh, I will fire with. Uh, and I will focus right after the thickness of my part. So my part is nine millimeter. I will focus at around 12 millimeter. Um, so I can now turn on the pump here. I will lower the gain in order to have a small interface echo here. So I can still lower it a little bit to 5 dBs for example. Uh, I will go in the gate menu here, select the I gate, um, and I will select here the first peak and synchronize on the I gate itself. Uh, I will now go and select and configure the A gate. Um, so uh, here I will lower a little bit the threshold to 10 percent, for example, and I will here go with the first peak at edge. Regarding the thickness mode um, measurement, I will go A edge minus I edge. Um, and to get some nice colored spot, I will go here from 7 to 9 millimeter maximum. So it means that every point that will be under 7 millimeter will appear in red on my C scan. Um, I will go so and then configure my manual TCG. So I will go and place a point right after the interface echo at 0 dB, no uh, gain here. I will add a new point at the first backward echo position here. I will go so 9 millimeter and add, let's say, like 12 dBs of gain. So I can saturate here with no problem because it's a sickness measurement for corrosion. Um, and I'm measuring on the edge uh, of, uh, of, of the echo. Um, I will now add a third point here that I place at the second back wall echo, 18 millimeter, and I can add a few dBs here. Okay, then I will go and set the range here. Um, so I will start at minus five 
here and I will go 25 millimeters for example so like this I only display two um, back wall echoes and I will configure also the acquisition rate to about 250 Hertz um, no I can um, change here the scan type so I will select the raster encoded uh, and go to edit encoders uh, and there is this nice feature in the X3 so all my scanners all Olympus scanners are already implemented in in the, the Omniscan X3 um, so I can select the flexoform here um, the resolution here will be five, uh, 52 sorry, millimeter, which uh, is the dimension, dimension of the strips. So we see that it's lower than the aperture in this configuration, and we have an overlap of 12% here. So I can click down, and it will load automatically all the setups for the encoder. Um, I will now define the area, so lo the longest, uh, the longest um, distance on the edge from the middle of the of the elbow to the edge is about 300 millimeters. So I will configure minus 300 here and plus 300 in the other direction. I will go around 12 strips here, which is about seven. 100 millimeter, the circumference of the type, and I will preset the encoder here at zero millimeters. Okay, I will now display the C scan view, and because I prefer here this color palette, I will load the corrosion one. And um, it seems like I'm ready for the inspection. Okay. So I can press, once I'm in position here, the play button. And I can start scanning. I can play, press the, the next button here. Okay. Seems that there are some spots here on this pipe, which is a pretty good use that I can find them.
So um, now I can press the pause button and I will go in uh, analysis mode. So I can zoom in, for example, on this little corrosion spot here. And I can see that it appeared pretty clearly. Okay, at a depth of the thickness of 6.74 millimeter. And once I'm done with that, I can unzoom here and zoom out. And I can save the data. for a more a deepest inspection on a computer, for example, using the well site software.